Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to work out the distribution of stresses at the base of a 15 meter high brickwork chimney. The dimensions of a brickwork chimney are as shown in the cross sectional plan. This cross section remains constant throughout the height. The chimney is subjected to wind load acting perpendicular to one face. Wind pressure rises linearly from zero at the bottom to 1.5 kN per meter squared at the top. The brickwork has a density of 20 kN per meter cubed. To begin, we need to use this equation to determine the stresses at the base. First, we need to determine the area of the section. How are we going to do that? To find the area, we need to subtract the area of internal square from the external square. As a result, the area of the external square, 2 meters times 2, minus the area of the internal square, 1 meter times 1. This gives us a total of 3 square meters. We also need to calculate the elastic modulus. But first we must determine the area moment of inertia, which is equal to width times depth cubed divided by 12 for a rectangular section. Again, we must deduct the area moment of inertia of internal from the external square. As a result, width 2 meters times depth 2 to 3 divided by 12 minus 1 meter times 1 to 3 divided by 12. This gives us 1.25 meters to 4 in total. Therefore, the elastic modulus equals the area moment of inertia of the subtracted shape 1.25 divided by half of the depth 2 meters over 2. This gives us the value of 1.25 meter cubed. Next, we need to work out the total weight of the chimney, which equals the height 15 meters times the area of section, 3 meters squared, multiplied by the density of the brickwork 20. This gives us the value of 900 kilonewton. Furthermore, we need to work out the overturning moment which is the result of wind force. So, the total wind force equals half of the chimney height 15 meters, times wind pressure 1.5 kilonewton per meter squared, multiplied by the chimney width 2 meters, and this gives us total of 22.5 kilonewton. However, the resultant force acts two-third of height up chimney. So, the overturning moment equals 22.5 kilonewton multiplied by two-third of 15 meters. This gives us value of 225 kilonewton meter. Finally, we input our figures into our equation. 900 divided by 3 which equals 300, plus or minus, 225 divided by 1.25 which equals 180 kilonewton per meter squared. We should convert these units to newton per millimeter squared, which means we need to divide our results by 1000. This gives us 0.12 newton per millimeter squared, compression on the windward face, and 0.48 newton per millimeter squared, compression on the leeward face. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.